My lab is very interested in understanding the molecular mechanisms used by the brain to generate perceptions and behaviors. I think this is one of the great mysteries of our time. And um, our five basic external senses, touch, taste, vision, smell, and hearing, as well as internal sensory systems that regulate bodily homeostasis, uh, these are the principal drivers of mammalian behavior. So we study the mouse, and for mice, the olfactory system is particularly important. Um, mice are nocturnal animals, and they re rely on their sense of smell to locate food, uh, but also for pheromone-directed social behaviors like mating, uh, fighting, and parental care. So smell is one of our five basic senses. It's a main mechanism that we perceive the external world, and understanding how it works will provide insights into the, how the brain generates perceptions and behaviors. So we identified, using this genomic strategy, uh, a large number of cues that were produced in tear fluid with striking sex and age-dependent ways. And we were intrigued because um, uh, one of these cues was made only by juvenile mice. So uh, once we realized this cue was produced by young animals into tear fluid and was um, activating a response pathway through the olfactory system, we wondered what behaviors might be regulated by ESP22, by this cue. And since we didn't really understand what a juvenile pheromone might even be doing, we turned to sort of just doing behavioral observation. And there's a, there's a particular strain of mice that lacks uh, part of the olfactory pathway, this vulnerable nasal organ pathway. And we asked whether these mice display any defects in social behavior. Uh, it's been previously reported that these mice have deficits in sex discrimination. What we shockingly found was that these mice display increased sexual behavior towards young juvenile animals. And this suggested that juvenile animals normally uh, release a protective cue, a pheromone, that, is, that functions to suppress the sexual behavior of adults and tell the animals that they're not ready yet. And um, we reasoned that our, the cue we found, the ESP22, uh, was an excellent candidate to mediate these protective effects. So we started experiments where we would paint mice with this cue and found that this cue actually did uh, inhibit the sexual behavior of, of adult males. Uh, we're excited by these findings because we think this adds another dimension to the types of behaviors that can be controlled by pheromones, another tool in the toolbox uh, that we can use to study innate behavior. And I think some of the pressing questions uh, that are really exciting in the field now are, you know, how are different receptors that respond to predator odors or juvenile cues or, um, or male cues or female cues, how are these differently wired into the brain uh, to trigger different responses?